This is Jupiter Today for the 26th of March, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's two Jupiter satellite events and one satellite mutual event. Zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three, heading west, as well as Ganymede, but coming up on its western elongation. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. From 105 to 110 UTC, Europa eclipses EO. It's a 4.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.414 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.292 magnitudes. And these two moons are going to be 82.07 arc seconds from Jupiter. At 506 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And by 6 hours UTC, EO is firmly behind Jupiter. From Earth's point of view, this blue line is the line of sight to the Earth, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. Also at 6 hours UTC, Ganymede has passed its western elongation, and is now in quadrant 4, heading east for the rest of the day. At 8.25 UTC, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. By 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa is pretty much at its western elongation, going to be moving into quadrant 4, heading east. And by 18 hours UTC, EO has passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. At 1953 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove. That's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. 664,865.9 kilometers. And then at 2233 UTC, EO goes through its perijove. And that's 420,034.3 kilometers. And then by zero hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. Europa and Ganymede both in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto still slowly moving in quadrant one, heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons shown here. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine all these and get rid of the orbital lines to get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter sky. So imagine you're standing on the equator of Jupiter just above the clouds looking out. This is what you'd see over the next 24 hours. Sped up here, of course. can see that from Jupiter, Mars is brighter than the Earth. There's Europa creeping across Ganymede. Doesn't look like we're going to see that in, at this longitude.
the red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. The first at 2.04 UTC, the next at 12 hours UTC, and the third at 21.56 UTC. There were some new images posted. And there was some new radio data. And there was a new paper. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, one minute, 41.1 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 56 minutes, 14.4 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 127.866 degrees, and that's 1.036 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 8.47 degrees, and that's 0.124 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 699,543,048 kilometers. So over the course of the next 24 hours, the distance between Jupiter and the Earth will surpass the 700 million kilometer mark. The distance today at zero hours UTC is 1,880,314 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 78,346.42 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,112.54 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 799,829,164 kilometers. And that's 44,231 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,842.96 kilometers per hour, and that's 4.46 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 8.47 degrees, CM2, 23.04 degrees, CM3, 304.14 degrees. The time of this recording is zero hours nine minutes UTC on the 26th of March, 2015. So please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, and tell everybody that you know that this podcast is taking place. You can find out what's going on in and around Jupiter over the next 24 hours. It's a very active, dynamic place, and I'm looking for observers. So you can send your observations, images, comments, questions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.